hello. Today I thought I'd show you how I do some partial, and another uh, video about um, partial embossing. Um, this time I'm going to use just a strip to do my embossing. Often it's quite nice to have um, a little panel of embossing on a card, um, particularly clean and simple ones. Um, so this is my Cuttlebug folder and this is my do-it-yourself um, embossing strip. So looking at this folder, I looked inside and I decided that four, these are tiny hearts, I don't know if you can see them, uh, four rows of these hearts would look quite a good proportion on the front of my card. Um, this panel, I cut panels for my cards with this die. It's from um, Sizzix, it's a framelit die, but for some reason that I don't comprehend, it actually cuts a panel which exactly corresponds to British card sizes, which are different, in fact, from those in the US. So I make my cards from sheets of A4, which I cut in half, usually down the length, and I tent fold them. So this panel is just slightly smaller than the front of that card. And I use a panel in lots of my cards because embossing, I don't like it showing on the inside of a card. Uh, Colouring with um, alcohol pens, I don't like that showing through on the inside. There are apertures, obviously you need something behind it. So a panel is the way forward as far as I'm concerned. So this is my panel. This is my embossing folder. And this strange object is my plate, as I said. And I made it from... I think there's four or five sheets of cardboard, just packaging. Uh, cut them all the same size, glued them together. I used some of this PVA school glue, cheap as chips, but it works brilliantly. And looking on the inside, I, I positioned this, this um, pa um, panel so that it just uh, included these four rows of hearts. And then I taped the plate to the embossing folder on the outside. Now, the idea of this is when it goes through the machine, just the bit that is getting the pressure will be embossed. This bit will be, that won't, this won't. So what I'm going to do is put my card inside the folder, make sure I get it centralized both directions, close it up, I think that looks okay. Now, the sandwich for this is the normal sandwich, as you could imagine, for an embossing folder in whatever machine you have. Here I've got my old cuddle bug. So in, in this machine, it consists of a base plate and two of these cutting plates. But of course, I'm using this contraption instead of one of these. So... I'm going to put this into my die cutting machine. I'll move it over just a little bit. Put it in and I'm putting it in so that the length is what goes through the rollers. If you put it in this way, A, it seems like a big bump to try and get over here at the start. And you may actually get some embossing of the little hearts on that side and the little hearts on this side that you don't want. So if you put it this way round, the rollers start on there, they're lifted up, and hopefully we will avoid embossing even faintly the ones that side and the ones this side. So there we go, put that in, put on my top plate, and we'll take it through. Let's see how we go. You should feel just a little resistance. You know your own machine how things work. Move that out of the way just a moment. Right, let's have a look. Open up the folder and there is our embossing. Really quite crisp. But if you look really closely, even so, there's a slight hint. You may not be able to see it. There's a slight hint of those hearts either side. But the way to deal with that is just to use your bone folder. Let's get this out of the way. Is to use your bone folder and just gently 
rub across and they're gone. And the other side, just very gently rub across and they're gone. And it doesn't mark the card. This is, um, not long had this one, it's a Teflon one and it's just, it feels lovely. It really feels lovely. So there is our little panel ready to put something on for the front of, of um, a clean and simple card. So that's that one. So let's get that out of the way. The next thing I want to show you is um, a different kind of, of embossing. If you want to, you, you can actually use the inside of an embossing folder if you want to. But this is what's called a texture plate. It's from Fiskars. And they do all sorts of things. They don't seem incredibly popular at the moment, but for certain things, I find them quite useful. They usually come in sets of two like this with different textures on each side. That one is a wavy line, straight, um, straight lines, these little hearts, and that size, all sorts of different kinds of stars. There's all sorts of things. Anyway, with the, we're gonna, I'm going to use the, the heart one for the minute. Now with these ones, it's possible to do a whole um, sheet if you put it through your machine, but I just want to do a, a, a partial emboss. Now, if you're going to do this, you need a thing called an embossing stylus, which is one of these things. They come in all sizes for different things. I think oh, the people doing parchment craft use them or what? I don't know. I've never, I've never tried parchment craft, so I didn't know. But I've got all sorts of different ones here. Um, and I first was introduced to these uh, with my very, very first entree into um, card making, which was in 2007, when my daughter asked me to make her wedding stationery. And I hadn't got a clue. And I ended up do using um, those metal stencils with a light box and oh goodness knows what. Anyway, it was fine at the time and it's probably still fine now, but uh, things have moved on a little since those days. Anyway, to get back to the case in hand, here's my front panel. This is the front. That's the, the right side. And that is the side that goes down onto the panel. And I'm going to just tape it down. There we go, just tape it down, just to keep it still. Now, what I want to do is to just make a little square, perhaps, of embossing. So to limit myself, I'm going to, this is um, a little die. I'm going, I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to um, attach that with a little bit of sellotape as well. It doesn't matter um, about making a mark on, 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 the, on the surface of the card because this is the back anyway. So you can use masking tape if you want, but this um, scotch tape is, is really quite nice. And I think I'll have it, this will be obviously slightly to the right, or if, well, it depends which way up you have it, but I want it um, slightly to the right near the top. So if I put it about here, I don't want to go too close to the edge. I heard a funny noise just now. I wonder what on earth is happening. It's the window cleaner. Right. There we go. Now, of course, this way up. Can't see. It's card. I can't feel those. So what I do, I don't know if this is a recognised way of doing things or not, but what I do is with a, a largish end, I, I just have a little rub and I can feel a dent there. I can feel there's a little dip. So I found the dip with that. I'll use a finer one then and start to emboss the shape. If I bring this down just a little bit, see if I can get a bit closer in. Is that better? Right, let's try for another one. There, I can feel something. So, there's another little heart. Right, let's feel for another one. Oh, there's one, I can feel it. I don't know what the um, 
you know, what the powers that be from the company suggest you do with these, but this is what I found worked, so that's what I do. So I can carry on like this. There we go. And you can always check and have a look because we've taped it there, it's still, use it like a hinge and I can just lift it up and there you can see my hearts. Can you see those? You can if you want, just do a little. Um, you don't have to go right up to the edge of the um, square. This is, you know, the world's your lobster. You can do what you like, really. So I'm just going to do another couple. Um, where are we going to go next? Yes, there's one there. They're really rather cute. I rather like these random ones, just kind of a few here and there. So I've one down here, have it in like a little trail. It's amazing how you start off to do one thing and then decide you think, oh, it's much better to do something different. Where's this going? There it is. And it may look a little bit, you know, scratched and stuff on this side, but it doesn't matter. This is the back. We can do what we like. Just have another bit just here. It looks like a little thing tumbling down. This is oh, quite pleased with this. There we go. Let's have a look at that. That's rather nice. It's going to look that way. That's, I, I rather like that. So there you go. That's how I, I do um, those kind of embossings. I will do just a quick one on this one because there is another little trick that um, you might find useful. Just going to use this bit of scrap for this. I'm going to tape it down again. There we go. Now, um, you will find these these things come in sets. You can see I've got a few um, orange ones. I've got a, I've got a few of those, more of those somewhere. Goodness knows where they've gone. But um, you will find one with an end which best suits the sort of effect you want. Um, if you have a fine one, you'll get a much thinner, sharper um, uh, groove. Not groove. The, 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 the mountain on the other side, you know what I mean. Anyway, sometimes as you're going down, you feel a bit of drag on your card. I can feel it here. So if you just want to put a little bit of grease or oil just on the side of your nose, just do that and down it. it it's surprising what a difference it makes. Just a little wipe down the side. Of, nothing nasty. Just down the side of your nose. And away you go. Now, if you use one of these, it's so much easier than trying to use your scoring board, which is not intended for regular, closely um, aligned grooves. But you see, they work out quite nicely. The other side is, is wavy lines, but the same thing happened. But if you choose one that's too big, I've already done that one. Let's do a bigger one. Let's try a thin, real skinny one and see. Can you see that one does look skinnier than these? So you can vary the effect that you get by the stylus that you use. So anyway, I hope you've had a bit of fun. I hope you've learned a couple of things. You don't need those ones, you see. I think I did every other one, but you could do them close together as well. I hope you've um, had food for thought anyway. And uh, try some of it yourself. Thanks very much for watching.